Welcome to the Uzima Health and Wellness Podcast. Right. Um, you are passionate about pink. Now I know why. Um, you are involved in a number of activities. Tell me about the activities that you're doing to, uh, to recognize breast cancer awareness. Uh, and you do this every year. Some people, oh yeah, it's cute. I'm giving me a pink outfit. You do this every year. And now I understand why you're so committed. Yes, so I'm gonna hold this up. Power of pink. Yeah, it keeps Yay, it. Power, the power of pink, yes. All right. Power of pink is my organization. You can go to www power dash of dash pink okay dot org mm -hmm. and it's my group my company my organization so to speak mm -hmm. and we're doing um every year we do a power pink event mm -hmm. um we started off doing them in equinox uh prior okay. to the, the past year we did it, a virtual one and we did it in conjunction with my company i work with now nesca performance um this year we're doing it um a little bit of hybrid event as they call it now when mm -hmm. you're half on Zoom and half in person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That will be Thursday, October 7th. Mm -hmm. Would be um, rain date will be Friday, October 8th or Monday, October 11th. Events will include 8.30 a.m. virtual yoga sculpt, mm -hmm. 11 a.m. yoga and meditation, which will be outside. And this will be at our president's home in uh, Bethesda, Maryland. She's a nice open outdoor space. Okay. Um, 11 a.m. outside also. I'll be doing Pilates at 11 a.m. So we'll have events going overlapping. So you can have your place of events. Um, and then we'll do 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. pumpkin pumpkin decorating uh, uh, session. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin, so I can't even pronounce pumpkin now. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin decorating uh, session from 11 to 12. And then 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. we'll also do yoga sculpts again. Uh -huh. And then 12 to 2, we have our luncheon. And luncheon, we talk about, we invite the clinics that we give money to. So the money that we will be donating for this event goes to huh? Arlington Free Clinic. Arlington Free Clinic. Breast Care for Washington, D.C. Breast Care for Washington, D.C. Mary's Center. The Mary Center. Uh -huh. And then Mercy Health Clinic. Oh, Mercy Health Clinic. And all those go to help fund uh, not just breast exams, but also child care if needed, cancer okay. needed to and from. So we're looking to really reach the people we talked about that don't have access to good health care. These clinics reach out to them and they put them in if they need to, you know, and we help fund that. Mm -hmm. um, so I love the fact that um, Karen um, Leader, who is our president, mm -hmm. was her last year heading off uh, Power Pink. We're going to hand it over to one of the organizations, but her sister's a two time survivor. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is she that color? Pardon? Is she a minority female? Uh, she is she is uh, Caucasian. Wow. Okay, but she's she's passionate about breast cancer. And it and let me just say that it takes everybody. It takes right. everybody to be passionate about this cause for every woman. Um, right. and uh, there's a small subset of men who do get breast cancer. Let's not discredit that it, it can affect men. Uh, mm -hmm. but for most part, it is a female disease and and for every woman uh that of any race that we have to feel um uh, compassion uh, for their struggle. Hi, Uzima family. If you like what you're seeing and what you're hearing, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon below to be notified of our recent videos. What the doctor say?